breaking news, the bird is back. You're looking at a live shot there from our hummingbird cam. We'll try to keep you updated on the bird's developments throughout the morning. All right, now it's time for our Ask the Auto Man segment. You ask, now he's answering. Does fuel injection help your car? Our auto man, Brian Bowersock from West Escondido Auto, is here once again. Brian, good to see you, my friend. Glad to be here. Okay, what is fuel injection, first well, of all? Well, fuel obviously, we did away with carburetors in, in the 80s, and we've gone to fuel injection. Almost every car is fuel injected now. Um, and fuel injection is basically, there's an injector for each cylinder or a centralized injector that distributes fuel to the motor, obviously, and we have a combustion engine, so we need fuel, and that's what fuel injection does. Okay, so break it down for the average person that doesn't maybe know cars that well, why should they care about this? Well, the reason you should care about it, it's what gets the fuel into the cylinder that keeps the car running. Fuel injection system stops the pump, plugged injector, runs rough, car doesn't run, etc. So it's very important. Um, another thing that uh, fuel system does is controls your gas mileage and things like that and how well the car runs, better fuel economy, stuff like that, if it's working properly. So is this something that when it's broken, you'll, you'll hear a breakdown or something like that, or is it a slow process? How does that work? It's usually a slow process, and we did bring some examples of things that happened, like valves carboning up. We have some really carboned up valves, and then we actually have a valve that's, that's clean and what it should look like on a car. Carbon does a couple things. It can cause valves to stick. It robs the car of fuel economy. This carbon actually, when hot, will absorb some of the fuel that's sprayed in by the fuel, so it requires more fuel to keep the car running properly. Okay, and so what's the solution to that? Solution to that is a three-part, what's called an induction service. Uh, there's three parts that we do to it. Number one is we actually clean the throttle body. And you can see inside this throttle body, I've cleaned one half of it, the other half is dirty, where how carbon and soot builds up inside of it. Mm -hmm. By cleaning the throttle body, the vehicle actually runs and idles a lot smoother. Um, customers, when the service is done, will notice that right off the bat. Uh, second part is what we call the induction or spray-in service, which uh -huh. actually removes the carbon from the intake system. Okay. and the valves itself. So this just goes right under the hood itself? We then... hang it under the hood, it goes into the throttle body and while the car is running and the chemicals will actually clean the runners, the valves, the carbon off the valves like that. And this is obvious, this is something that you need professional help on, right? Yeah, this is something that, uh, this professional equipment, it, it hooks to air, things like that, and uh, will clean everything up. It makes it nice and running well. So how do you know it's time to do this? A lot of times you can tell by looking at the throttle body. It's something your technician should be looking at when your car is serviced. Mm -hmm. It's often something that we inspect for our customers on a regular basis. And you said this is one of those things that, that you can tell once it's done. You might not have realized it beforehand, but once it's done, there's a big difference. Yeah, the cost of the service isn't a whole lot of money. You're talking about about $119. And customers, when it's done, most of them will call you back and say, my car runs so much smoother. It's, you know, I didn't realize that you know it was running the way it was. It runs like it was brand new again. It makes a big difference. All right, uh, so excellent. And is this the stuff you guys are using to this do it? This is the stuff we use. We actually use a professional chemical called BG when the three-part service, um, and it's available through most quality auto repair facilities to do this for you. And how often should something like this be done? Uh, roughly a year or so around that time keeps everything running good and in good shape. All right, well, thank you very much. No Nicely problem. done. Glad to Thanks be here. for bringing it in. And uh, for more information on how you can get this done, if you want to go to Brian, you've got an auto question. You can go to San Diego6.com, click on Hot Topics. There's a special Ask the Auto Man segment, and send in your question.